I'm Dr. Jeff Finnecker, and today we're gonna explore the science of animal group behavior. We're here with meerkats talking about animal group behavior. Kelly's an expert on them. Kelly, I see one of them standing up like this. What are they doing? Well, that's exhibiting probably the most popular, well-known meerkat behavior, and that's called a sentry. That job for right now is looking around to make sure there aren't any predators coming down. And one of their major predators is birds of prey. So they're looking up and around. How do they work together as a group when babies are born? There's an alpha male and female that give birth to up to eight pups, but usually there's only about three or four. They stay in the burrow for about three weeks, but everybody, fathers, siblings, everybody helps take care of them. Thanks, Kelly. That was great. Here we have a big group of over 100 flamingos. It's called a flock, and the flamingos display some very interesting group behavior. To tell us more is Bethany. How come they form groups, Bethany? With the uh, Caribbean flamingos, it's safety in numbers, but also they form flocks because they have very specialized needs from their environment. Like their food is very specialized, but it's also to protect the flock from alligators and crocodiles and other predators. Hey kids, if you want to watch this whole episode and more, tell your teacher to sign up at generationgenius.com. We cover all science topics in grades three to five, and you get to watch it in class. But only if you tell your teacher. <laughs>